Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Plankercraft server. I, of course, am Big Mattis, and uh, as you can see, we are back on the uh, top of the nether again, up here on the roof. And last episode, we built ourselves a path up, so that this episode, we could work on this thing right here. This is going to be the gold farm. Now, if you all remember, I've... Uh, committed to making my own things this season and not going on the YouTube and building somebody else's farm. This one is going to be difficult. I've got some ideas, some some inspiration, some innovation I want to try, and I have no idea if it's going to work. So halfway through this build, I may just uh, abandon it, tear it all down, and build uh, whatever the newest version of the donut is that. Uh, uh, Wow, Snow Crash built. I know there's updated versions of that with uh, cactus and stuff. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and climb up real quick. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this intro. And I'm going to do a lot of off-camera work. Uh, what I'm trying to do is use this platform right here where I have built to start working on. And I want to build spawning platforms around this thing both up, down, and side to side in a sort of a globe fashion a sphere if you will and uh, see if I can't get within a spawning range and a angry pigman range of where you're standing in all directions and get them funneled up to uh, a couple of kill spots by you where you're standing and those kill spots will be with cactus then yes this is a super farm and the trick I am trying to go with now is the most amount of spawning spaces within uh, a close distance to you so that you don't have all the pigmen that de -aggro that are standing out on your platforms and I want them to die slowly not not super slowly but slowly near you so that they they just they keep aggroing each other because if anybody's ever played with these gold farms you know the biggest problem is outside of the reason for some reason I developed a lisp all of a sudden <laughs> The biggest problem with these farms is that the uh, pigmen will de-aggro and, and you'll spend half your night AFK uh, doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to try to combat that, see what I can come up with. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to make, actually I might already have some, no, I'm going to make a load of these and I'm going to start placing them around and uh, bring it back in and we'll see what we what we've come up with. Well, I've got some of the platforms in, and I hate to say this video is taking a particularly long time to make because on top of the problems I'm having at work, I am also now sick. I have a stomach virus. I'm actually uh, homesick for the day, so I'm trying to get some stuff done, but I don't want to build this whole thing until I talk to you guys. But uh, again, I will reiterate uh, the plan on this. Each one of these platforms should be 24 blocks away from the center point to the start and 35 blocks to the back because that's how far away that pigmen will aggro to you. And uh, I gotta go ahead and throw in a ton of slabs and get all these uh, spawning platforms done and then we gotta start figuring out how to filter them all to some kill chambers. So lots of work to do. Wish me luck. This is the most impressive, unimpressive build I've ever built. Uh, it is a bunch of gray slabs, but when I say it's a bunch of gray slabs, holy crap. I don't know where else I've used a lot of these slabs. Look at this statistic. Look at this. 30,000 stone slabs. Uh, most of those were here. I won't deny it. That's a lot of spawning spaces. Uh, the next step, of course, is to get these guys into an area where they die. And that's the hard part. And I want to show you something. Normally I would have gathered all the material I need to make these bridges, but I wanted to show you the concept of a little test I did. Bam, if you look and I stand right on this, you'll notice. Come on, guys. Come on, they're going to do it. Give them a second. Yeah, see, look at that. They love the corners. See how they all congregate towards the corner? Yeah, so we're going to make our paths over from each one of these corners. Somehow that is the closest for their uh, their pathfinding. So I'm going to get some glass, and we're going to make some paths. And I know from this path up, because the, 
they uh, they go inwards to this path right here. So it's in, 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 or out, sorry, going out, 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 all the way to here. Then it comes back in. So from here, we're just going to bring them directly to us. And on each level above, they're just going to walk off a little trapdoor opening. But uh, we, can, we can go ahead and do this. Uh, the reason I didn't gather the material I needed before doing this is so I could fly away and get these guys despawned. So let's, uh, let's take a peek at it. Look at this. Zoom. Let's go fly over here. Down, down. Give me some air. Wah. Yeah, it is sadly underwhelming of a design, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping this thing, ooh, I'm hoping it's well worth it when we're done. So let me go ahead and gather up some glass. Uh, anything else I can think of that we might need. At this point, I'm thinking that we're going to kill these guys using... Uh, Max Entity Cramming, because then you'll know that you'll keep some up there, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll have to throw some cactus in, because if I... I'm planning on doing four chambers of death, and if uh, all four hold 24 in each, then we probably won't get any more. <laughs> so that that could be a problem. So let me, uh, let me gather some materials. Once again, I apologize if you can hear my heat running in the background, and once again, I'm not going to turn it off, because it's cold. Sorry. But I've got some explaining to do here. I've, I've come up with some ideas. This right here is going to be the path of destruction for these guys. I have no idea yet how I'm going to bring them up from down the lower levels. I'm hoping that I can find a way and I don't have to scrap those lower levels, but we'll figure it out. Boom, 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 like I saw. So what this is, is going to be a little bit of a funnel that's going to bring all these bad boys into here. And it's going to look like this, going all the way up. And my heat turned off, so it shouldn't be too much of a disturbance. Boom. So then we're going to come up to this level. We're going to do the same thing, except for at this point, we want them to drop off very quickly into the chute. So I'm trying to think. Yeah, I was going to do one of these numbers, a little divider. Do 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 like this. I don't know why I brought it out so far. Actually, I do know why. I'm gonna have to encapsulate this thing all the way up just for making it look good. We're gonna do some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as good as it can look. See, now these guys on this level, they have nowhere to go but that way. And then these guys on this level, we're gonna have to throw in some trap doors here and we're gonna get them to fall into the chute. Like a saw. Boom, boom, boom. And I, did, of course, did not bring any trapdoors with me. Do, 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 do. Crafting with Big Mantis. Everybody loves it. it do, do. There we go. 32. It's a good start. Blink. Yank. Ah! Elytras. I love them. So I don't think this should. Hmm. Hmm. I say I don't think it should impede anybody's headroom, but then again, here's the problem. But do do. Let's go take a look. If I put them here, if I put them, we will just have to push each other in, and then this will be the only way in. We'll have to see how that works. I think that'll work. And again, we want to block them off. Do do. Funnel them into where they belong. Yeah, yeah. We're making this up as we go along. This is a, a totally invented farm, so you cannot blame me. Of course, the concept is not new. It is something that has been around since... Oh, which update was it that brought about the, the gold man? Was, was it 1.8 where they started all giving you XP when they attacked in groups? I don't remember, but it was a great update. <laughs> I loved it. I think, I mean... What we're going to do is we're going to do a little something that I've seen in other people's videos and I truly didn't understand why anybody did it this way until now. Uh, we're going to do the minecart uh, uh, max entity cramming system where you put uh, 24 minecarts down in a group and then when the pigmen land in there they start dying because uh, cactus is a good way to destroy re all the stuff you get out of the farm and... Why would we want to do that? Of course we do not. So we are going to uh, kill them with minecarts. I think that's the best way to do it. As 
you know, a lot of trial and error as far as that collection system and killing system is going to be concerned because I'm not really too familiar with it. And again, I'm hindered by my own uh, my own promise. Whoops. Stop holding the shift key. There, like I saw. And then we're going to do this again. We're going to do this all the way up. So I guess these are going to be staggered. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So I'm going to keep doing this pattern all the way up. <laughs> uh, shoot. <laughs> stairs. Yeah, so these are going to be stairs on this level. No, they're not going to be stairs. Get rid of that nonsense. Blink. A bink. Bink. I feel like I've... No, that's... That's all right. That's the same. All the way down. Man, I like it. I like when this this plan is just coming together. It's probably not going to work at all. I do have a backup plan for this specific farm. If it doesn't work, uh, it's going to be laying TNT out on all the levels, blowing it to smithereens, and starting a new one right where you're right in its spot, and doing one that uh, I already know how to build. You know, the donuts. I don't know the new systems, but I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. I've already built uh, several different variations of it. But I'm going to go ahead and take this up. Well, shoot. Well, this is pretty much it because this one is out further. So I think we're just going to keep dropping them down. They're going to take some fall damage. We're killing them anyway. I don't think any of this is far enough. Let's see. Two. Well, that would be three blocks. Six. See, it's two in between plus that block. So that would be three. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, yeah. We don't want them to die back here, that's for sure. So we're going to have to actually divide some system. This block right here, if I didn't explain it, this is the drop off of that top platform. This is where they would land if they walked straight off of that bad boy. Might have to build, might have to actually slow their fall so they don't die. Or maybe we make a collection right here and let some of them die, but then again, the experience would never get to us. All right, let me go ahead and put some of this system up in place on these four sides, and we'll pick it up from there. Oh, yeah, this thing is coming together. Look at these drop shoots. It's actually starting to look pretty cool. I actually like it quite a bit. Uh, right now, yes, they are just going to fall to their desk to the top if that's far enough for them to fall. We're going to test that in a little bit. But uh, if they are falling to their death, look at that. I've got string, and I've got some vines. We'll just stick a couple of vines somewhere down where they won't uh, fall their deaths and that simple I've also gone the next step of starting these stairs which I did two different designs I was just trying to use up the extra half slabs I had to build something right here and eh, it's not bad but I think I like this better it's just simple and precise uh, I did do I just shot them when I built this one uh, and when I built this one just to see what would happen to make sure they go up the steps. Uh, these guys over here do not run over to the stairs, so we got to have them on all four sides. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and throw in the stairs on this side, throw in the stairs on that side, and then we're going to run a test to see if this thing, if they'll keep walking. And then we're going to do that in uh, spectator mode. I'm going to bring on my wife's account who's going to stand here and I'm going to fly around and be able to make sure that all these guys are being attracted on all these different levels and that I haven't wasted my time. This farm is taking a long time so it better be worth it. And then we just have to build, because this, this is where they all fall, even those guys up there. So we got to build a couple of stairs up and then the drop chute, which is going to be one or two blocks out from where we are, where they're going to stand basically on this level, dying in the minecarts. Uh, that's the easy part. Then then it's collecting all the drops, which shouldn't be bad, and making sure we get the XP and all that stuff. And then uh, I've got some ideas for the outside of this thing, but I guess the big thing is magma cubes spawn in here, and I want to close off the outside, so maybe in these middle areas I'll put some uh, uh, iron golems to attract them off. It's so narrow that if I just put one like in the middle... You know, every, one for three levels, I think, would even work. So just a couple going up. I don't know what to play. We got so much iron, we could just, uh, we could put them everywhere. Just stack them. Broop, and just have those uh, magma cubes jump off the end. Anyway, I'm procrastinating. Let me go ahead and throw these stairs in, and we'll give this bad boy a run through and see how these pigmen respond. Look at them spawning everywhere. Yes, I love it. All right, uh, 
Kix has come over to give me a uh, hand testing this bad boy, so let's go into spectator mode, and I will say shoot him. And let's see what happens. I, I'm mostly interested in what's going on on these levels up here. Oh yeah, look. Look at this. That guy ran off the backside. <laughs> Well, see, they're not going to... Well, yeah, I might have to put trap doors out here in the front areas to entice them off a little bit more, but I don't want them to land on it. Have to figure this out. Yep, here they come, here they come. It's a-working. I'm not sure if it's working to the pace that I wanted it to. I don't know why these guys aren't walking up the god darn stairs. Watch my language. I was going to yell at them. Okay. So this... No, see. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to have to take some, uh, some figuring out why these guys aren't walking up. When there's obviously a path... To get closer. Hmm. They are raining down supreme though. That's for sure. I like it. Still needs some tweaking. Alright. So I'm going to start working on the concept of what it's going to be. Build one of these sections in to see... Uh, Look at them, they're still coming in though. It's still working. Boom. Anyway, we'll have to figure out what's going on. I'm hoping when we build it up the rest of the way that they're drawn up like that. See, why they all just start running up? I don't understand. All of a sudden, they just started going up. I don't get it. Oh, he stood in the middle. <sighs> Alright guys, I'll be back. <laughs> well, I'm starting to get excited now. If this test works, uh, that, that means we're pretty much at a working gold farm. The only thing left is to get these little kill chambers in place, which is, at this point, I think the easy part. I think. <laughs> I say that, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and throw... I had to go get some more glass. I was like, I don't want to be out again. I'm pretty much done. Now again, I gotta say, this is the most underwhelming, overwhelming farm I've ever built. It's all just plain glass and stone slabs and there's some stone brick stairs. Speaking of which, show you what I did. I just went back to this point, took them up four, and now they have nowhere to go but into the chute. So I want to try again. Now see, again, just like with the last test. Oh shoot, I didn't get up there and fix any of that stuff, but I can do that. But with the last test, they uh, they weren't respawning very fast. I don't know, it was it was weird because the whole point is to keep them here a little bit longer. We're gonna put something like 19 carts in each one of these sides so that at least a couple of them will hang out with me and we'll visit for a little while. But uh, might as well shoot them while we're doing this. Boom. Uh, yeah, I was worried about that. I was worried about that. Yeah. Well, how'd they get onto the thing? That's what I did. I wasn't looking at... Ah, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> a couple of things have changed in the last few minutes. One, I don't think there's any way these bad boys can drop on me. I went up top and I closed off these top two sections in case they were falling out of the chute. I don't think they can fall out. Maybe uh, one more section down might be a problem. Also... And we're going to have to take a look up there, but you can see like right there, there's two trap doors. There's two trap doors on every level. Uh, some of these levels are different than others. We're going to have to take a, a little uh, spectator flight through this farm to show it off later because it's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. I also uh, took this ring down a little bit and put these here and I actually gave them a place to stand. So I'm hoping see, that's not a full block. That's not a full block. I don't think that any even the babies could get through. I mean, it's, obviously it's not that big of a risk because I just fly away, but let's, uh, let's give this bad boy a test again. Ooh, hey. How you doing? Stand right here where I belong. 
Oh, I love it. Look, babies are in there. They're not falling out. Now, of course, like I said, max energy cramming will kill these guys, but you'd have to have 24 in each one of these shoots, so eventually they're going to stop spawning. I wonder if we're going to get... Oh, I see some still gathering up there. We're going we're gonna to have to get a second account and take a look and figure out where these problems are occurring. Oh, but we pretty much have it, man. I'm so excited. There's like 20... Yeah, there's... Almost max entity cramming in each one of these bad boys. So we've already maxed out. We've got everybody in the chute. So all we need to do is give them some way to die. I just... I wish we could spawn... I wish Mobcap was 200. That would be great. Then again, most of these, most of these computers out there couldn't handle that kind of game. Not with this programming. Oh, so we're almost there, guys. All these guys filtered in. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get a little cheaty because I don't know how else to do this. Yeah, read our little uh, text chat back and forth. Boop! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Everything is empty. They all came down, except for this one guy. Why? Uh, he must have spawned after I went in spectator mode. So if I go back, will they still be angry at me? I don't think they will. There they go. Um, so, once again, the farm's pretty much done. We just have to give them a reason to die. I'm not sure how long this video is. I'm going to go ahead and drop some rails in here. So I'm going to go ahead and let all these guys despawn. Screw it. Why let them despawn? Looting. 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 See, now more people, more of these guys should spawn. Maybe they'll come in and start doing some max entity cramming. Which one did I hit? This one? Ow, my hand just twitched. <laughs> there should definitely be more spawning happening. I don't know if kicks came into the nether. I don't know, but let me go ahead and figure this out. And I uh, get an eye game plan together. We'll come in. We'll drop some carts together. Give one more test, and we'll call this a uh, finished episode and a dag on near finished brand new gold farm. Actually, this is a working gold farm right now. You just have to stand here and kill them all. If that was, well, that's awkward. <laughs> How you doing down there, babies? I was say they're gonna be able to hit me. Boom, babies! Look at all that XP just a flowing. Get out of here. Get out of here! We are joined by Kicks while we action. Uh, action. We're are, gonna, we, are we on? Are we... We're we're on. Shut up. <laughs> Radio voice. I went ahead and put uh, nineteen or twenty minecarts in each one of these spots. One of which is a hopper minecart, just to help with the flow of material. But uh, I meant to show you guys doing the last one, but I got busy talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in. Break the blocking block. The blocking block. And we should be ready to go. Boink. Oh, that worked. I was so worried they were going to spray everywhere. That's why I wanted to do it with you guys. And Kix is going to come over and help us put this bad boy through a test. An actual official test to see if this thing is working. This will be it. If it doesn't work, I jump off and I never come back. <laughs> Ever. Liar. Liar. Alright, I'm going to fly away so that that idiot up there doesn't come kill us. Zing. I will, uh, I'll be back when, uh, Kix gets his lazy butt up here. I'm working on it. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Well, this is gonna start to get the tricky part I didn't think about. <laughs> you gotta find one to shoot. Uh, oh, that's no problem. Just make I'll sure you stay... Guy. Yeah, huh? Just make sure you stay in that center. They can smack you around a little. Oh, really? Yeah, here they Pray come. Pray tell, how'd you find that out? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my death counter's not up when I'm in spectator mode. They're not dying. Did I do something wrong? Nope, they're dying. They're just not dying on this side yet for some reason. Looks like when they do, when you do uh, max entity cramming, you don't get X XP for it. No, you should. I am not going up, and they were di they're dying pretty good. Maybe when it's they stuck. when they. 
Move, move over to this corner. Well, you can't see me. Move, move. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. definitely don't do that. Close it. Close it. Close in it. I want to kill him first. Just move. You can move into a corner safely. Just be careful. Oh, like over here? Yeah, see the XP moved up. It's getting stuck. I know it wasn't getting stuck before I put the minecarts in there. Crap. The hoppers need carpet on them. I betcha. Just get them all mad. Are they still running in? Full. One of these may only have uh, nine or ten in it. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo the minecarts. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these guys not aggro? On no. top there? Yeah. They're too far, probably too far away from these guys. Is that better? They shouldn't be, though. They're supposed to aggro 35 blocks away from each other, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's borderline. These guys right here should not be more than 35 blocks away from those guys. Definitely not. <laughs> this whole game it's funny is... As... Good. It's funny as hell watching the little guys come running like... Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a. <laughs> <Good. laughs> yeah, there's no reason why these guys up here shouldn't be aggroed. I hate Minecraft. Well, I shot one of them up on the top level. Right. Give him a swipe with your sword. I did. Or a punch. Just now? No, nothing. One's down here, Agard. They're definitely not more than 35 blocks away from the ones that are down here, Agard. Oh, more testing ensues. Creating more work for myself is a habit of mine. Oh, uh, I went ahead and removed the paths, the stairs, the collection chambers, moved them all back. I, uh, this was the original area where I was standing. I moved up five blocks. Now, according to my math, which was very wrong the first time, that edge of that outer platform should be within range from these pigmen for aggro should be and I'm hoping they are down there too but I'm always willing to remove a couple platforms down there if they don't work out and uh, all I have to do is plop in these last two minecarts bam just like so this is, this is the last test of this farm for this video if this doesn't work out it's uh lots of thinking lots of behind the scenes stuff and we'll test it again next time but this should, should work uh, there's a lot of work to do to make this pretty and the fix up from what I've done. I'll probably cut this back. I, I don't know what I'll do, but, uh, I don't like the way that looks, but it will get them to where I want them. But the, the other aspect of this that's a bonus is I was worried about them falling and dying. Well, they're going to land on these stairs now. I don't think that's going to be an issue. And I've also put 22 carts in each one of these spots, which should only allow two pigmen to fall in there without... Uh, the third one coming in and killing them, with the third one coming in and killing them, and uh, all we have to do now is open these trap doors. There's one. Okay, come on, you couldn't test it for me, jerk. One more, one more. Now it's all blocked off. They shouldn't be able to get to me. All I have to do. I'm still nervous. I did put the carpets in. I don't know if I sh if you saw that before I knocked that thing down. There you go. There you go. There you go. Of course, you're not getting anything from them because they're not aggroed. Actually, you could still get uh, nuggets, right? And meat. I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to take mental inventory to see if I've messed anything up. Here we go. Here we go. Of course, I don't have anybody here so I can fly around in spectator mode. I'll have to do some uh, off-scenes testing. Crap. The XP's still getting stuck, so I'm going to have to mess around with that, it looks like. Yeah. Shoot. I mean, I know what I think I can do, just... Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to remove that slab. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll mess around with it. Something to work on once this farm is not active. Come on, keep pumping them out. Keep pumping them out. So far, so good. Ah! This has been a tremendous amount of work. Uh, not just building it, but designing it and tweaking it and messing around with it. This takes so long. I really can't see much of the farm, but I don't see any pigmen stuck anywhere. And boy, if they're not still reigning in supreme. So far, it seems to be working. So far. So I'm going to have to do some extensive testing on this thing. Bring in another account, get some spectator mode going, and seeing if all of the levels are working properly. See how long this, uh, this thing lasts in the AFK session. Figure out how to get this XP out of these, uh, these areas. Does this help? No. Woo, that one's facing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm glad those little guys didn't come out. Because they could have. Holy crap. Okay, um... But that's all the time we have, man. I know this video is probably long. I have no idea how much footage I have. Oh, let me let me do something about this. Oh, oh, it's probably not loud to you guys in my ears. Woo! But we will come in here next episode. We got to clean up some of this stuff, get the uh, collection area going, make sure this farm's working, figure out how to get this XP to us. Look at them. They're still raining in. And these guys standing up here are only going to help. Uh, keep everybody aggro, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully this works out good. Eventually this is going to be a great farm, even if I have to keep tweaking it. <laughs> Maybe I can let the XP... S no, if I do anything, those carts are going to go shooting everywhere. It's not that hard to put the carts back in. So, uh... Maybe I'll just break them up, move this half slab out, put another, uh... uh trap door down a block. And maybe the XP can flow up underneath. I think that's the ticket. But I'm procrastinating. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it for this episode. We have invented a, a seriously different uh, concept of a gold farm that uh, I think is going to be amazing. And if it works out great after extensive testing, I'll go ahead and put it out on the YouTube as a bit of a tutorial so you, you know how to build this bad boy. But in the meantime... Make sure you uh, go down in the description, check out the other plankers, get onto the Discord and chat with us, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. It's truly appreciated. Lots of love. Goodbye.